so interesting huh? uh, we have seen uh, so many power plants where we always uh, try to find out the power plant with the two parameter the quality of the equipment and the quality of the at the same time epc also right so being a big power plant installer i have a question for you sir so how you manage both of the thing when you are doing a epc like a 50 megawatt 100 or even a, you can say 500 kilowatt or 1 megawatt kind of thing because in both the case there is a two parameters one parameter is the quality of the equipment another one is the quality of the epc team who is performing the job because whatever you may purchase very good quality of the material but if the quality of the epc is not good that will be also become bad Okay, so uh, let me start how a, a solar plant ground mounted can be, uh, solely is, is to be constructed. It is first is uh, engineering and design. Second is the procurement of the material and then the uh, construction quality in the exhibition. So uh, if we make mistake or uh, say low in some engineering or some forecourt some uh, particular aspects, then it will be uh, very difficult or almost next to impossible to correct it in the later phase. Procurement, we can... Uh, Control, we can surveillance on the quality, and as well as in execution also it is possible. So uh, how quality can affect the generation, it is a very big impact on the quality. So if, uh, let us uh, start with the AC, as you said, that 70% cost in the module. Balance only 10%, uh, 20% is the EPA, EC, uh, the uh, AC part of the plant. Now, if you even if you select a less lesser quality or uh, lighter quality or a inferior quality of simple insulator and if the insulator is punctures out then your plant is gone for a for a whole day for a one say two days until your insulator is available or it comes out from where so it is a very uh, less in uh, comparatively very less costly in ac part but it uh, terms it is generation loss is a use so uh, even for the uh, dc AC is more important to have the control and have the better quality and uh, if we don't uh, care of that quality and don't procure the quality material, definitely it will going to impact the person who is uh, uh, for the developer in terms of generation loss, which is not visible at the time of the procurement, which is not visible at the time of the installing plant. Only we see the capex, oh my capex is lost. Uh, and they, they give awards to the procurement, oh you have saved this much of less rupees. But they don't know, even they are losing the 100 crores of rupees when they uh, went uh, in terms of the ROI. Second thing, when uh, you are executing the project. So if you are executing and then if you are uh, not maintaining the, maintaining the standard operating procedure, uh, standard execution procedures and uh, doing whatever you like, then uh, you keep on going uh, the re rework in the o and and losing generation is a separate part, but your o and will never be affected, never be succeed. You will not able to uh, achieve the plant ability and even the uh, performance. You will not able to get the desired generation if you have uh, ignored the quality while executing. So quality at the every level, even the engineering, I will say it is the most important, then the procurement and then execution. Everywhere, every stage quality in the EPC is most important to get, if you want to get desired generation from the plant. If you are ignoring any, any stage, definitely you are going to lose in terms of uh, 10 times, maybe 100 times or more. एक छोटा सा पॉइंट इसमें ऐड करना चाह रहा हूँ आपकी खुद की अच्छी एक स्ट्रेंथ है सर्विस करने की बहुत अच्छे आपके पास इंजीनियर्स हैं लेकिन जो आपने प्रोडक्ट सेलेक्ट किया मेनली इन्वर्टर अगर आपने उसका सिलेक्शन ठीक नहीं किया उसकी सर्विस कैपेबिलिटी को जज नहीं किया तो आपका पूरा प्रोजेक्ट जो है नुकसान में जाएगा बिकॉज क्या हो रहा है कि हाइब्रिड इन्वर्टर का मैं केस देता हूँ जहाँ पर मैं नाम नहीं लूँगा मैनुफैक्चर का उनकी सर्विस बहुत ही ख़राब रही so last three years we have not purchased even a single inverter because of service of that uh, particular uh, manufacturer. So this selection is a very important role play that with the product quality and its service capability is also for us because the customer knows us. The customer asks us why did you select this product if it will behave this product. So the component of the back is also very important in service capability. Absolutely true because uh, earlier the industry used to uh, run on two different aspects that one is a German product and another is a Chinese product. But uh, since uh, so I was talking about inverter and we are supplying SunGrow inverters here. So uh, what is more important is how much has the brand invested in terms of that particular region. For example, if you talk about an XYZ company from uh, Europe or if we talk about from India or we talk about from any other country, the important is 
uh, where we are putting the plant, what is the investment of that country, what is the bank uh, bankability of that particular inventor brand in that country, as to how long it is going to survive in that particular country, because all these warranty pictures that uh, X years warranty, all these things are only applicable if the company has a vision to survive in that particular sector, in that particular area, for that particular amount of time. So this is very important as to what brands we are choosing in terms of bankability also. Hello. So, like uh, Jensa mentioned, that selection of ACDV inverter power and other. So, I think module since it's a 70 or 60 percent cost of the EPC. So, it is also one of the I think crucial and uh, main part. But nowadays, I think we uh, we most of we people see that key. We uh, first of all we'll talk about the commercial part. Then after we go into technical. So, normally if everywhere like it is also happening with developer and other big EPC company also. Because they say that price will be able to do technical. But it is not possible because different QAP, there will be some different rejection and different prices will be there. So selection of the module supplier, which uh, uh, Sir also mentioned that ki after taking of inverter, he, they are not giving warranty and guarantee, they are not providing any kind of service. So ultimately, your name will go. The manufacturer will be there ultimately they will end customer they will come to EPC. EPC will go to the manufacturer because since EPC is the face of that uh, person who is going to install the system. So selection of module manufacturer who is going to supply you. I am not talking about the other, other company they are the Chinese other I am talking about the Indian module manufacturer. Bankability is one of the point. The company is bankable all, and all. Second is kitna, how, how much experience they do have. Third thing, kitna capacity they already supplied. Fourth thing, the kind of quality complaint records uh, they do have. Fifth, you also please check the kind of reference. You widget some of the plant. And fifth thing is you should verify if you are going to implement the big plant like Rage Power Infra and they do. So they do kind of third party inspection, TPA, inline inspection and all. So please visit and have because your one rupees will ultimately come to you only. Ki ek rupiya sasta mil gaya, mera plant lag jana chahiye. Ultimately, if you are going to put your name with their system, ki main lagata hun, I'm the top EPC player. So please choose the top or good yeah, model, model because ultimately the generation will come from, from the module. Inverter to baad mein baithe ga, fir usko convert karega, DC ko, AC ko. DC nahi aara hai, to AC nahi karega, cable bhi baitha rahega. So please, Choose your model manufacturer, see their capacity, share their, their quality plan, QAP and all. Then after, please discuss on commercial part. So it is also one question. I just want to add, uh, because now uh, inverter, there is one case study is available. That's why I'm just, I wanted to share. Uh, Solis, uh, this guy is uh, sitting actually. Uh, uh, okay, Sun Grow, okay. So I'll, I'll just give, um, I'll not name it, but I have already disclosed actually what I'm just talking about, uh, which brand. Uh, one of my uh, overseas customer actually, they just asked to analyze uh, which kind of inverter, whether you are going for a string central inverter or if you are going with a string, what, uh, what would be your like uh, recommendations on the uh, manufacturer's products. So we selected um, a few shortlisted three, four, uh, four, five uh, vendors and then we chalked out uh, these are the technical parameters. So then we compare all these parameters. So what I just wanted to say, like TCS. Just remember this, what we are following and uh, uh, we, we, we are just working more than 12 years actually in this solar domain. So we haven't faced any like bad uh, reputation from our clients. TCST stands for technical, technical is very, very standard, SOPs are available. Commercials, it's available in black and white, you can negotiate. So TCS is service part. On service part from that vendor which we have selected, finally got selected and uh, just uh, on the verge uh, to place the order. Before that, we had a n number of calls. What is their service strength? What they will provide online? What they will provide uh, like on ground? So these things we had done with them at the top level. We got all assurance after that we placed the order. So we have to make what... Uh, uh, Anup is saying we have to be very careful about the service part because other, other things are like SOP is already defined even in construction part uh, everybody is saying like product is important construction is important very important very important but SOPs are available for O and M SOPs are available but nobody is following because of the cost.
Okay, now I would like to discuss some uh, hurdles which we face using, during the installation of the power plants, basically. See what happened when we are going to design a plant. At that time, we design in various software, use various things. And when we actually go to the sites, then situation a little bit become different. So does it really impact your generations and all, or we get it, get it adapted to that? Or we adapt to that? I will not say that we uh, design the plant ko and site different are because uh, uh, we study the hydrology, plant, uh, ground conditions, uh, even with the uh, everything we study before going to the before starting before we start designing even the every report is there hydrology, ground report, soil, soil report, soil investigation report, everything is there. So there is nothing we, we never face the surprise that what we designing is based on something uh, unless otherwise you can't start design unless otherwise you have a ground report and all the uh, this thing report. I have a question for the, my friends from the Sangro. In today's scenario, model technology is changing very rapidly. You know? Like 530 watt peak, 535 watt peak. Immediately you will listen 600 watt peaks. At the same time, if you see our APC player, every day 10 new PC player come, maybe 20 go on, something like that. At the same time, do you have a technical program for them to impact education? You need to do this much kind of string or permutation combination for the designing part. Absolutely, sir. So how uh, we are working on it is uh, uh, the inverter technology and panel technology has to go hand in hand. Right. So uh, when we are talking about uh, 1500 volt uh, DC inverter, the first inverter that had come uh, was uh, uh, by Sungro. That was a 200 kilowatt inverter. And it has installation base of close to more than 2 gigawatt in Rajasthan itself. So uh, with the, then the technology came that uh, there are going to be modules which are going to be 600 watt peak. So in that case, again, uh, 1500 volt DC in, uh, inverters are very important, uh, where uh, they not only support the high current modules uh, these days, but also uh, in terms of uh, making it more cost effective because the prices are shooting up. What we have done is we are even offering uh, 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 earlier we were offering somewhere around 50% that you can overload the inverter and it will not impact the generation. Now we have come up uh, with a new mindset that where we are going to allow more than 70% also in few cases for uh, utility inverters and utility scale projects. So, and also in terms of O&M that we were talking and how we are educating the customers about it is, uh, we have already had, or we have always had in all the range of products where we are offering uh, string monitoring. We are uh, giving the cloud for 25 years straight to the customers, so that uh, uh, there are no cloud charges and those data are protected with us. Accordingly, we educate the customer in case uh, we come through any hindrance that is uh, going to be probably uh, at different terrains. So we try to resolve most of the faults uh, remotely. And in terms of educating the customers, we have different technical seminars that are happening in almost every city. Uh, in Rajasthan, we had, uh, we had one uh, prior to this event, I think, uh, two months back in the May. So these things we are already doing for the EPC players. I have a question, same question for you from the team, from the Sun Group. Uh, we just want to know how you are going ahead with the, such kind of criticalities when the mobile technology is changing every day. Okay, and at the same time, our EPC team who are operating in Pan India, they also need to be well versed with your model our model technology and your inverted technology. So how you are going with, with that? Yes, so uh, in this particular case, I think uh, Mr. Aditya has already given a brief idea. So as most of the new models are coming with high rating of uh, currents, and if you see, uh, if I'm talking about the only the uh, string inverter technology is still uh, we have not yet cope up uh, with the required current that is required for uh, string input or for uh, each MPPT. But yes, uh, as far as the model technology evolving, it definitely takes time for the inverters to evolve. So there are some uh, time constraints because of uh, which the new products cannot be deployed in the market as fast as the modules. Because whatever the changes are happening at the model side to incorporate in the inverter, again, we need to go for new sort of certification testings and everything. And after a particular uh, field testing, then only we are uh, providing the inverter in the market. But yes, uh, as uh, the high current uh, modules are already available in the market, uh, right from our uh, residential inverters up to commercial and uh, utility, 
we have already started uh, uh, providing the high input uh, string currents for our commercial inverters. So in this REI, you will be uh, coming to know that the new inverters from 50 kilowatt onwards, we are coming up with a string current capability of 22.5 amperes. So any high current module that is available now or will be coming in near future, easily that uh, particular module will be compatible with most of our inverters. And this is just the start. We have started on with the commercial inverters and slowly and steadily we will be incorporating it the same for the residential as well as for the higher utility based inverters. I have a question for my friend from the Wari. So, like we, we are, you are also growing, we are also growing, Satek is also growing, everyone is growing. So, how you are coping with the new emerging technology which are changing day by day? And what are your future plans? And what technology in which you are working right now and in future you are going to work? So, thank you for asking this question, Ar Arunji. So, as you know, if I talk about Wari, we have started from 30 megawatt line in 2007. And we are the India's largest module manufacturer as per approved ALM list with 4.7 gigawatt production line. And uh, if we talk about the production, apart from that, we have also uh, already started uh, 7 gigawatt production as on date, which is yet to be approved by the ALM. And by end of December, we will be uh, manufacturing 9 gigawatt of module, which will be highest uh, module uh, manufacturing capacity outside China across the world. So we will be the highest in India and across the world apart from leaving China. Right? So that is on the module side. So on the cell side, so as you talk about the technology, we have already started working on uh, HJT and Topcon. So we have our uh, cells uh, manufacturing facility. We have started with uh, Greater Noida 1.5 gigawatt. So we will be manufacturing HJT and uh, Topcon from there uh, for starting this November. Okay. okay. And moving to uh, the next part, we have also started our uh, this facility in Chikli, in Mumbai, near Sari district. So we will be manufacturing four additional gigawatt of cells. So altogether, we will be manufacturing 5.5 gigawatt of cells, which as on date is zero. So that is a, a big leap ahead with uh, from all the manufacturers, including the module side. And uh, from the one more thing, yeah, so, sorry. To so, now we have seen 650 modules, 540 modules, 650 have come, 540 people are using it. Mm -hmm. If we talk on the efficiency side, 540 is generally in all the brands, 20.8%, 20.9%. 650 is close to 21%, 21.1%. So, when we talk about HJT and Topcon, it will jump to 23% and above. So, that will be a big game changer. At that time, like raise and all, they will be using 650 in their ground-bound projects also to save their uh, BOS cost and all. Yes, BOS cost and the inverter cost definitely at the same time. Uh, Pushpender, can you enlighten us about the, your plan about yes. your manufacturing, which are coming now? Ah uh, yes. Uh, so currently we are running with uh, M10, uh, which is 182 by 182 m size of cell. So we are getting 540 and 45 watt peak with 144 number of cell. And we, if we are putting 156 cell, we are getting up to 590 watt peak module, which is already approved with VIS and ALM. So going through with this, since now after M2, we don't want to skip with the technology like AJT and other technology because till the market would adopt this thing because last year, I think we have seen that key M6, the technology come for a six month, then after people move to M10. So uh, I think still this M2 is quite popular than M, uh, M6, uh, the market, because the ultimately whenever you go and skip to the technology, the, uh, the cost and other impacts are there. So price barta hai, ultimately EPCU and end customer has to uh, bear the cost. So I'm going to technology, pe ja raho, ye ja raho, ultimately because the efficiency of module, there is some myth on it, because ultimately what peak is going to make your generation. Because cell efficiency make concern ki cell efficiency like we are using 22.8% efficiency of cell. Then after we are getting 540 and 45 watt peak module with 21% and above efficiency. So module efficiency ka mitha earlier I think MNRE and other tender they used to quote this thing. So we had also that ki there is no IC calculation for calculating of module efficiency. So because your generation efficiency of module se nahi aati, watt peak se aati hai. 
और देर इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द मिथ की पोली ज़्यादा कम जनरेट करता है मोनो ज़्यादा जनरेट करता है दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द मिथ क्योंकि अल्टीमेटली आपकी वॉट पीक से जनरेशन आती है बस देर इज ए वन कंसर्न ऑन टेम्परेचर कोफिशियंट की समटाइम वेन एवर द टेम्परेचर रहा है तो पोली स्टार्टेड डिग्रेडिंग एंड एंड इट डिजेंट गिव द बेटर जनरेशन वो थोड़ा सा गैप आता है फॉर समाइम बट इट्स स्टिल देर इज नो प्रूवन रिकॉर्ड दैट की इट विल गिव फाइव परसेंट ऑफ बेटर जनरेशन सेम विथ कमिंग इन टू एच जी टी टेक्नोलॉजी लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ द बिग बिग कॉर्पोरेट्स एंड दे आर ऑल्सो गेटिंग इन टू एच जी टी सो वी हैव ए प्लान लाइक आफ्टर एम टेन वी आर गेटिंग इन टू जी ट्वेल्व वी आर प्लानिंग टू गेट विद आई सी एन अदर सर्टिफिकेट बिकॉज देर इज अ कोर्स ऑफ प्रोसेस टू गेट द मॉड्यूल अप्रूव विद एल एम एंड ऑल टूडे आई विल लॉन्च द प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज विदाउट गेटिंग बी आई एस एन एवल आई कैनॉट सेल द मॉड्यूल्स इन इंडिया सो दिस प्रोसेस टू बी फॉलोड इट विल टेक अ सिक्स मंथ और फाइव मंथ टाइम ऑफ द लाइन्स सो विदाउट गेटिंग दिस प्रोडक्ट इज नॉट अवेलेबल सो जी ट्वेल्व बिकॉज वी वर वी ऑल्सो प्लान टू कम विद जी ट्वेल्व ओनली बिकॉज दैट टाइम द इन्वर्टर रेंज वॉज इज ग्रोवर्ट से इन्होंने मैंसन भी किया बिकॉज दैट टाइम द टेम्परेच दिस मॉड्यूल करंट रेंज वॉज नॉट एडेप्टेबल एंड कम्पर्टेबल विथ दिस इन्वर्टर देन आफ्टर कंपनी लाइक सन ग्रो एंड दे स्टार्टेड मेकिंग इन्वर्टर ऑफ इट सो दैट वॉज द वन ऑफ रीजन की दैट टाइम वी रिलाइज एंड स्मार्टली वी वेंट विद द एम टेन ओनली द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ सेल वॉज नॉट देयर सो वी वेंट विद एम टेन नाउ वी आर गेटिंग इन टू एम जी ट्वेल्व ऑल्सो बिकॉज इन इंडिया दिज अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज यू आर गेटिंग इन टू मेकिंग साइज ऑफ द सेल कि बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली इफ यू आर पुटिंग टू टेन साइज ऑफ द सेल द नम द साइज ऑफ द मॉड्यूल विल बी बिगर लेकिन क्योंकि एक्चुअल में वेन यू आर गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल द सिस्टम तो आपने अनलोड करना है सो इफ यू आर पुटिंग सिक्स फिफ्टी वॉट पिक मॉड्यूल सो अगर उसको अनलोड कर रहे हो तो अल्टीमेटली देर विल बी सम माइक्रो क्रैक बिकॉज इफ टू थ्री परसेंट विल बी दियर दे विल स्टार्ट अनलोडिंग दैट मॉड्यूल सो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट मैनुअली टू अनलोड देन आफ्टर पीपल यूज ट्रैक्टर्स एंड ऑल टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द सिस्टम इन सम फोर एक्टेयर एरिया फॉर पुटिंग वन मेगावाट सो अल्टीमेटली देर विल बी लॉट ऑफ माइक्रो क्रैक so the cell efficiency will be increased the size of the cell will be decreased then only we can say ki the technology is getting revolve and changed so here we all are putting 650 670 watt peak module so technology should also change like sgd is also one of the best technology topcon is there so we will also like from a point of view of, of having a technology roof mop so we are also with line of the customer client requirement so we will 100% go with h per their requirement only